New this morning, the former CDC director is sparking controversy on the Internet. Despite having no evidence, Dr. Robert Redfield told CNN he believes the coronavirus originated in a lab in Wuhan, China. Ohio Lieutenant Governor John Husted shared the story on his Twitter account, writing, so it appears it was the Wuhan virus after all. Well, both Dr. Redfield and the lieutenant governor are under fire for those comments. Redfield has stressed that this is just his opinion. However, experts from the World Health Organization, virology experts, and Dr. Anthony Fauci have all said the evidence to support his claim just isn't there. The issue that would have someone think it's possible to have escaped from a lab would mean that it essentially entered the outside human population already well adapted to humans, suggesting that it was adapted in the lab. However, the alternative explanation, which most public health individuals go by, is that this virus was actually circulating in China, likely in Wuhan, for a month or more before they were clinically recognized at the end of December of 2019. The World Health Organization has finalized its report on the origins of the novel coronavirus. The agency expects to publicly release that report's findings within the next few days. And Ohio leaders are responding to Husted's tweet on Redfield's opinion. The executive director of the Ohio House Democratic Caucus says this is a racist statement from Ohio's lieutenant governor. State Representative Allison Russo responded to the go lieutenant governor telling him to do better. Now, we have reached out to Husted's office and the governor's office for comment. We're still waiting for a response. The Asian community, of course, has been the target of a startling rise in violence and harassment throughout the pandemic. The advocacy group Stop Asian American and Pacific Islander Hate released a statement earlier this month. The group reports there have been nearly 3,800 reported hate incidents since March of last year. The report also found that Asian American women were the victims in 68% of hateful incidents against Asian Americans in the last year. Organizers here locally plan to hold a rally at the Ohio State House this afternoon to stop Asian hate. High school students in Dublin also plan to host a vigil this evening at Bridge Park to remember the eight lives lost in the Atlanta spa shootings.